All right. Mm. I literally just sat down. <laughs> I literally just sat down, okay? I'm just trying to get things set situated. All right. Get this out of the way. Good morning, everybody. Hello, everybody. I hate that my eyes are closed. I hate that no matter how hard we try with this, I can never get it to, like, acknowledge that my eyes are open. Like, when we do streams like this. My eyes are open, camera, please. Please. God. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. We have a bunch of fun stuff to do today, everybody. We are going to be playing with crafts, and then we're going to play some Genshin. <laughs> so today's crafts... Uh... What I'd, what I'd give to be able to set the open and closed values in VTube Studio when looking through camera. I, honestly, I, I would love to understand the parameters and how to fix, how to fix it. Because it is just obnoxious that, like, my eyes are closed a, a lot during these, uh, during these streams. So it's hard for me to, like, put the VODs up on YouTube. Because it's like, people are gonna be like, why are your eyes closed? And it's like... If you only understood the setup. <laughs> if you only understood what I was working with. But it's okay. Anyway, so... These little beauties are called the LOL Surprise Mix and Match Birthday Cakes. So, I've already read the, uh, the instructions to these and they're, um... They are certainly something. So, let me get the two dolls. Uh, that these are for. And I've already forgotten which set is for which, so they're probably not gonna come out the way they're supposed to. So we have, uh, Miss Parte. And we don't care about her name, so she gets to go throw him to the side. We're focused on Miss Parte today. Uh, I need a model specific for these streams when, uh, where eyes never, uh, never can close. I, mmm... I'll probably talk with, uh, with Hiro, uh, when we work on the new model and see, um, what can be done about, like, the eyes opening and closing, uh, for my hand cams. And maybe she could also help me figure out what to do with it with this model. So, okay. Like I said, I've read the instructions, and I kind of understand the instructions, but, you know. So. We gotta pull everything out, basically. Alright. So we have our bowl. This requires something or other. This requires this. Yeah, this little teacup thing. All right. All right, we got so we got the the handle. Then we got to get the mixing bowl, which goes in I think like this. Right? <clears throat> Sprinkle bowl. See, it's saying... The sprinkle bowl should just sit in there, apparently. Right? Hold 
See, this is the part that doesn't make sense. Oh, do you still need the dress inside of it? Is that what this is telling me? Wait, hold on. Look, it goes in like that. Okay. Well, we gotta take her out of her dress then. goes in like like that apparently I guess the I guess the mixing the sprinkle bowl does not go in all right so now we need you guys can't see the instructions because they're just kind of like sitting out in front of me not into there but into the mold itself So we need So we need these 3. You pour all 3 in there? Smooth with a spatula. Did we get a spatula? Yes, we did get a spatula. Okay. We did, in fact, get a spatula. Okay. With adult supervision and child safety sticker, uh, uh, adult safe, uh, or adult supervision and child safety scissors. These are not child safety scissors, I assure you. All right. So. I'm going to move the camera a little bit so you guys can kind of. See what's going on in the bowl. Alright, and you have to pour it on the outside rim. There's a cat hair! Hold on. There we go. I got it. gotta like spread out the colors and make them you know make them pretty like don't put all the blue on one side you know oh god we're doing great mix that all together gotta make sure it gets into every little nook and cranny and cranny. So this is like, this is one of those things where I wonder where the camera should be positioned while I'm looking down. Do I need to like just be kind of looking up at you guys while like blindly playing with this? What I should do is I should watch other VTubers who do this kind of stuff and like kind of get an idea of like where they're uh, cameras are. Or I could always ask, I think Holly, Holly and Euro have done, uh, streams like this. I could ask them, like, how Holly did theirs. Where'd my spatula go? Oh, there it is. Alright, can't forget the paint! Thank you. 
Okay. kind of even it out a little bit dump up the excess and I think we'll put By these directions, you're supposed to like fill it to the, you're supposed to fill it up, up. Like it's supposed to fill this entire mold. So, oh no. <laughs> You know what? I wonder, putting it in this, like, putting it in the mixing bowl, like, I get it. But, like, this is, like, such a pain in the ass. Like, trying to, like, mix it around. So, you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna take it out of the mixing bowl for right now. <laughs> And do this. And then we'll put it back in the mixing bowl when we're ready to add the water. All right. This is as good as it's gonna get. So now we put it back in the mixing bowl. And now the next step is you gotta put, we gotta put water. <clears throat> Apparently you put water in the middle. Hello there. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for the check-in. This is gonna go great. Here, I'll bring the camera back a little bit so you can see how this is how this is gonna go. Uh, I'm at work, so it's me. Okay, that's fine. I'm making a mess. Apparently I have to hold it. Oh, push or hold. Wait two minutes. Computer, set a timer for two minutes. Thank you, computer. So we're just gonna hold this for two minutes. Uh, so how are you guys? How's uh, how's chat? <laughs> I 
I can't believe, you know, we, did, we didn't do this with adult supervision, so therefore I made a mess on the desk. <laughs> See, this is what happens when I do crafts without, uh, without Seraph. I make messes. <sighs> Anybody who's just joining us and has no idea what the hell's going on, uh, I have to sit here and hold this uh, mold for two minutes. There's a timer going behind me, and then once I hear the noise, or you guys hear the noise, you're gonna hear like a boo 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 noise. Uh, it's been two minutes. So. So I'm actually gonna take my my headphone off or my ear so I can hear the timer. So we're making uh the mix and match birthday cake OMG surprise dolls. Um we are working on Miss Parte. Um apparently I don't know what it means by mix and match. I'm assuming it means you could probably make like a bunch of these, like since it's like in a mold, if you don't use all of the colors. Like, you could just keep making them, which I think is neat. I don't know if it's color- like, is it sand that they're using? It's like a- like, it's something that congeals with water, so. We'll have to figure out exactly, like, what the solution is and see if I can make more- You know what I miss? There's the timer. Computer. Dismiss. Alright, so we've held it for two- Minutes. Oh god. And there's just water everywhere. This is why I have uh, napkins, though. I have paper towels. The water got all over the instructions. I think that's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, how will we ever be able to read the instructions now? Hold for two minutes. I work from home. I skive off during during work. <laughs> Hi Hammer! Welcome in! Welcome in to me making a mess. Alright. So they're just saying I can just pop this out now. This is gonna be fun. Oh, I'm still slacking off, but I, I have to keep audio off because I share... Listen, you've seen me with my craft shit. Mess is a part of the process. It is. You're right. Alright. We'll, re <laughs> we'll reuse that water later. That's a secret tool for us to use later. Alright, so it says... Hold on. I got the instructions wet, so... It's gonna be great. Alright. Pull out, which we did. Oh, let it sit for five minutes. So, where's my where's my cake thingy? So we gotta let it sit for five minutes like that. Computer, set a timer for five minutes. You didn't have to say good morning to me, but at least you say <laughs> at least you say that and not and, and you don't fucking like <laughs> dox me. <laughs> Note to self, make sure your Amazon device doesn't dox you on stream. Like mine didn't do, but you know. <laughs> Alright, I take a sip. And then it says, while you wait, because the instructions are fucking soggy now. Look at this, I've sogified them. Oops. While you wait, put sprinkles in bowl. Okay, so here's the sprinkle bowl, and then there's supposed to be a thing of sprinkles somewhere in this mess. I want the pink one. I want actually the white ones. I like the white ones. Soggy ass instructions. Do I just throw them all in a bowl? Okay. Oh! Come on. 
Mm. There we go. Sprinkles are in a bowl now. So what is everything? What's this? Is this a shoe? It's probably a shoe. These are shoes! Little booties! What else is there? What's this? I'm gonna open up all the little, uh, little doodads. Oh, it's a tiara. I don't know whose tiara is. I've got two- I've got two girls here. Two girls, so I don't know who gets what. So. I know there's another spatula. I know that much. So. Alright, while we wait that five minutes, what's next? That and then while you wait, wait. Do you have to pull it out of the out of the mold? Oh no! After the five minutes, you pull it out of the mold. Okay. So after five minutes, you pull it out of the mold, and then you dunk once, according to the instructions. You dunk it in the water once. And then you smooth with a spatula. You insert the doll, and then you let it dry for 15 minutes. And then, then we do it all again. <laughs> so, soggy ass instructions to the side. We got a little birthday card. It says, Happy birthday! I've made you a cake. Is it anybody's birthday soon? You don't have to say, like, you know, in the next month, maybe, you know, your birthday's in two months or something, you know, and you don't gotta say, you know, when. But if your birthday is soon, this cake is for you. I've made you a cake. Out of doll. It's a doll cake. You're gonna eat it. <laughs> Technically, we could start the next process. Like, we could start the next, uh, cake. We're gonna have to slap that out, pull that out of its mold. We're not putting it in the bowl yet. I've, you know, I have learned not to do that. And then for this one, we were provided yellow, pink, and white. But I kind of want to use what's left first. So we're gonna make, so we're gonna um, make that one into like a monstrosity. So we're gonna start with a base of pink. And then we're gonna do, oops, I'll move this over a little bit. And then we're gonna do white. Okay, and then where's my spatula? There it is, spatula. Start getting this all mixed in, all mixed up. See, so it's, it says mix and match, which is nice and all. Oh, I'm making a mess. Uh, wait, what if I kept it in its plastic? I'll keep it in the plastic for right now. Oh. Computer. Dismiss. Okay. So now, this one is- this one's ready! So it should just pop out, right? Mm. Silicone mold, so it should just theoretically come out. <gasps> oh my god. I don't know why, like, I'm all ex Oh, it's sticky. Oh no. Oh god. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No, he ain't doing this. We're not doing this sticky shit nonsense. Ah! Merp. Get it off my fingers. Alright, if you've got sensory issues, these are definitely, um, probably wear gloves if you do not like the sticky sensation of, of this. But there it is. This is what we made, guys. Look at it. Alright, the sticky's not too bad. Like, the surface itself is sticky, but, like, there's no, there's no real residue coming off, but it's like, you're holding something that's kind of 
Eh. Like it makes you want to rub your fingers. So like just be uh just be wary of that if you pick these things up. But like, but this is the one we made. This is pretty. And apparently you can smooth it with a spatula, which I'm not I'm not quite sure. Smoothing. Smooth it. Uh, and then you because the next thing you do is Oh wait, you have to dunk it once. I forgot. I forgot to dunk it. Dunk it once. Oh, I think maybe it's because you can make it wet then. And then you um <laughs> sprinkle the sprinkles on it. <laughs> that's not I don't I feel like that's not what you're supposed to do, but make it rain. Make it rain sparkles. Stick your finger in the hole. Get glitter all over yourself. No, it's beautiful. It's dazzling. <laughs> there. Oh my god, it's all over me. Can I just... The intrusive thoughts are winning. The intrusive thoughts have won. <laughs> I actually have a weird segue about that. Um, don't. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I made a mess now. Oh my god. Oh god, it's everywhere. Um just a little reminder about the the usage of saying the like the intrusive thoughts have won. Um that's not how that works. As somebody with intrusive thoughts, <laughs> as someone with real intrusive thoughts. <clears throat> I'm just going to segue into this real quick because once again the internet has taken a term and they don't know what it actually means. So I'm gonna educate you guys a little bit. If you know what if you know what it is, great, that's awesome. Um and not everybody who uses the joke actually like suffers from it, but I just for myself, because I do suffer, um, I feel like I'm I am allowed to make such goofy jokes about it. Cause I understand the difference. Um, but if you don't know, intrusive, like, when people talk about intrusive thoughts, like, people who are actually talking about intrusive thoughts, um, they're intrusive. They, you don't want to think them. They are things that you don't want to happen, but for some reason your brain, um, just decides that you need to start thinking about this stuff, and you don't want to. It's, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes it's harmful, sometimes it's really inappropriate, sometimes it's just things that make you uncomfortable to the point where you kind of, like... Anything you had planned to do that day, that week, that month, it's done. It's over. You don't want to do anything because your intrusive thoughts um, were just that bad. <sighs> I'm not going to go into any examples of mine. I mean, the most, the, the only example I can, um, the only example I have is, like, very tame. It's on the tame side of things, but, like, an intrusive thought that, like, happens a lot, especially especially if I'm in public or if I'm at work, um, is when I see strangers and then the intrusive thoughts are basically doing something with those strangers that I actually don't want to do. And it can range from innocent things to things that would put me in jail. <laughs> And I hate it. I've had the intrusive thoughts all my life. Um, I've had I've had the problem. Like when you're young, especially I had it when I was young too. Like I <sighs> the 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 thoughts that would come up in my mind in school just again would put somebody in jail. And that's 
And that's really it. Like, that's what an intrusive thought is. It's just, uh, intrusive thoughts are just thoughts that you don't want to have. They're intrusive. That's the whole point of them. And you can't stop them. Because the difference is impulses and reckless behavior, uh, intrusive uh, thoughts, impulse thoughts and reckless behavior all have their own, like, all are things. Uh, impulses are things you can control. Like, you can control an impulse, even if sometimes it feels like you can't. Um, I, like, there's questions I want to ask people, and it's an impulse to ask them, but I don't, because I don't know how they'll respond. So, like, I control the impulse to ask just stupid-ass questions. Um, reckless behavior. I've done- I've had reckless- reckless behavior. I have done things that I- I was in control of, things that I made the conscious decision to do and I knew they were bad. So apparently you have to insert the doll. <clears throat> Alright, she's in. Have to figure out... What her, uh... Is this your little dress? Is this your little top? So... You know what? I will wait until you are all dry to dress you. Ugh. <laughs> right. I actually don't know how long she's how long it's been sitting there. It's probably, you know, 15 minutes is gonna come and go um, between now and basically ending stream. So I don't need to put a timer up for that. <laughs> so anyway, so she's done. And we're gonna make uh we're gonna do the next one. But that's just, but that's just it when it comes to like, uh, in like, intrusive thoughts. Like again, if someone's making the joke, um, give them the benefit of the doubt that they probably do suffer, and they're making a they're making light of of their situation. Like I know I do. I really like the intrusive thoughts one, and it's something goofy. But you know, it's for me to make humor out of the fact that I do suffer from it, and it sucks. It sucks having an intrusive thought when you're coming home from somewhere and the and the thought creeps in of what if you ran that red light? What if you just drove over the medium into oncoming traffic? What if you hard braked into the back of that semi truck? Like that type of stuff. Cause a lot of cause a lot of intrusive thoughts also have to do with like suicidal uh suicidal ideology and all of that. <clears throat> it goes hand in hand with it. A lot of it can also be of sexual nature too. And that's also like the ones that it's like, you know, you think like your intuitive thoughts creep in and it's something inappropriate to the point where like if you did it, if you acted upon it, you'd be in jail. And you don't want to act upon it. So. I hate my intrusive thoughts. I do. I hate them. I hate when they happen. Everybody does. I can't, I don't know a single person who, who likes having that problem. It's not fun. It's not a fun condition to live with. But in this day and age, you don't know who's actually suffering and who's just making a joke of it. So it's like, you can be, you know... You can make jokes, but just always in the back of your mind, you're always might you might get judged by somebody. So it's one of those weird it's it's such a weird thing to gatekeep, I guess, but like if you don't suffer, like try not to use the terminology. How 
does this keep happening? Now I can't get it because I'm trying to- I'm trying to pick it up with scissors. You want me to squat? Yeah, sure, hold on. Let me- <laughs> Let me get this damn thing- Oh, actually, it's, it's, it's in there. It's, it'll be fine. Alright, I'm gonna squat. <laughs> Golden's like, enough talk about your- enough talk about your sad thoughts. Time to squat. Alright, everybody. If you want to squat along with me, we do 15 of them. So. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. If you're just joining us, seven. We're doing squats. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15! 15. 15 squats! Ugh. My glutes are going to be immaculate. Alright. Show them thoughts who's boss via squats. Yeah. <sighs> oh, you know me. I don't like... I don't like talking about mental health. You want a toot toot as well? You're spoiling me today. <coughs> There's your toot toot. Uh, <laughs> I don't like talking about my own mental health on the channel. I really don't. But I also realize it proves that I'm human. Like, I'm, I have these problems, and I'm sure other people have the same problems. So if I talk about them, then you guys will feel comfortable to talk about them for yourselves. But you also don't need me to discuss your, uh, your, your mental health problems. We all got issues. Anybody who says that they don't have some sort of, I'm not gonna say problem, but they don't have something going on in their personal life, uh, is lying. I don't know, I don't know, I can't imagine anybody who's well adjusted. But it's on a very annoying circuit. I thought, but I thought you were a cryptid. I'm only a cryptid. You're right. I'm on your trail cam, eating my food, scratching my balls. You put your trail cam out thinking you're gonna catch some uh, interesting sights of like bears and deer or wolves? Nah, just me eating a sandwich, eating a, uh, eating a hammus with croissant, scratching my nuts on your trail cam. Damn, that's the dream life. Eating a hammus with croissant, scratching your nuts? <laughs> Yeah. That is the dream. So what I want to do when I move, uh, I want to know which one of Surav's neighbors has trail cams and I just want to just walk in front of them. All blurry. I just want to run in front of them. I want them to not not be able to understand what the hell they're looking at. What if I just... Hold on, chat. I'm cooking. Cooking an idea. You can't see what I'm doing, sorry. In case you were wondering, I put the sprinkles into the mix. I'm gonna do that again with the- uh, I'm gonna do it again with these. 
Uh, Gaz gotta restart their local legend status. I- I like how you do TTS when TTS doesn't work. Something I have to fix. Something I will fix in the next few months. I know. Joke's on you, I'm not refunding those points. <laughs> Did I open this one yet? I did not. Okay. This is ready. Sit in this bowl now. Oh boy. Get some sprinklage in there. Oh. We, we, we've talked about this song before. Uh, 
Oh, okay. No, it's just it's it's Cult of the Lamb. All right. It's ready. Can I pour this water back in here? Aha, I can. All right. So we don't make another mess. I'm gonna go ahead and just put down a paper towel. Hold it. Computer, set a timer for two minutes. My left hand is gonna twitch because that's just what happens. Alright. I want a sip of my coffee. Mmm. Dungeon Donuts has launched their spring menu. And it is all churro themed. So if you are, uh, if you like cinnamon and you like churro and all of that, they have a new churro, uh, they have a new churro donut. They have three different churro inspired coffees. They have a iced churro coffee, they have a hot churro coffee, and then they have a cinnamon vanilla coffee, hot or iced. Um, basically kind of in the same vein as just being churro, but it does have a, like, it does have taste of vanilla in it. So, I got the cinnamon vanilla iced coffee today. Um, I did mobile order it, so I wasn't able to customize it. I think the next time I go, I'm just going to, like, go in or order right at the box. And I'm gonna ask for extra of these syrups because a medium is three, three cinnamon, three vanilla, and then... A large is four cinnamon, four vanilla, and it's just, it, I'm a sweet tooth person, so like, take this with a grain of salt, obviously. I like my drink sweet, and I just, it wasn't sweet enough for me. Um, but like in their mobile app, you can't customize how much, uh, how much, how much sweetener you want in it. Like, you can add, you can like, add the cinnamon, but the vanilla, the vanilla is a static, like, three to four pumps. No, no sir. If I want a medium iced coffee, I want it to have like at least five of each. Like five pumps, you know, five pumps cinnamon. But that's just me. Again, I have a sweet tooth. I like sweetener in my coffee because I like the taste. I would like to mask the flavor of coffee itself to the best of my ability. Computer, stop. Alright. this bitch out. Right, okay, and then it's... Let's let it sit there for five minutes, right? Pull it out, and then you gotta flip this shit over. Right. Computer, set a, oop, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes. Sound good. This is going to be a hot mess to clean up. So while we're waiting for this one to set, I'm going to clean up the mess. Put all of the extra bits in one of the bowls. The spatula. And then 
I have some of the powder left over, but I don't see myself making another one. But I am going to keep the molds. I'm going to rinse everything out, like, in the, uh, in the bathroom. Like, I'm going to take it to the sink and just clean it. So, I will unstickify all of that. But, okay. I don't have a trash bag, like, right here. I don't know what we're making, but I want, but, uh, me want to bite. No, uh, it's, they're called LOL Surprise Mix and Match Birthday Cakes. They're basically like a, I, I don't know, it's like a birthday cake. You make like a birthday cake dress and like, this is what, this is what the other one looks like. I can't tell you what it's made of. I cannot tell you the substance. It is like, it's in a powder form, like in the baggie. It's a crystal. Like, almost like sand. And then you add water to, like, solidify it. And then it comes out like that. I don't know what this is. I don't know what kind of, like, adhesive material this is. Forbidden Jello. Uh, pretty much it's Forbidden Jello, but I, but I really want to know, like, what, um... Like, what crystallizing properties this is. Like, why why does it solidify in water? Like, what is it? Does it say on the... Like, on the little handout, like, what it is? I guess it doesn't. Does the... Oops. Is this also directions? These are also directions. Does it say what you are? No, I guess it wouldn't, huh? It doesn't say. Sorry, I went quiet because I'm like, I'm reading the instructions. It really doesn't say like what the compound is. But I'm not keeping it. That's because it's already, it's an open, like it's an open container. I have no way to store it. So it's getting trashed. You have a bag. If I knew the, if I knew what the compound was made of, like what the, like what the base, um, craft was, I could probably pick up more for cheap at like, like in the craft section at like Target or at Michael's. I could probably look it up. But I was saying earlier, you know what I miss? This was something that got, this was something that was like per, uh, put out uh, at Target for a while. And I had made, and I had bought like a few of the sets. They had, they, uh, they had this jelly resin jewelry set uh, for a while. I don't know if anybody else saw it. I don't think you guys did, but where you could, like where you made jelly jewelry and stuff. You had all these different, like you had all these different, um, All these different designs and things like that. And then the resin, like the resin was kind of like the set and forget like for five minutes kind of type of resin. Like it wasn't UV resin. It was stuff like this, but not like this crystally compound. Computer, stop. All right, it's been five minutes. And I miss that stuff. That's like, I miss that the most. I'm so sad that that got short-lived at uh, Target. Huh. 
pop this bitch out. Ugh, yeah, no, definitely, definitely needs to be cleaned. I know this has to be dunked. Let's see, dunk it once. Oh god! Oh! The water! <laughs> Oh my god, no! The water- oh god. <gasps> a test of your reflexes! It was certainly a test of my reflex. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit, what got wet? I don't think anything actually got wet wet, which is good. Just my leg! Just my pant leg, no, it's wet. This is why we have paper towels. Camera cable should be fine, right? It's it's covered, it's coated. Yeah. Oh, oh my pajama pants. <gasps> no. Adult supervision, indeed. But this is why we have paper towels. No, all of the other instructions got wet. <laughs> I'm gonna throw them away. There's no reason to keep them. <laughs> uh. Well, actually, I do want to keep the collector guide because I want to show you guys uh the one that I want. Oh god, everything's so wet. So the one I want that I'm going to like keep buying these for is of course uh Neon Cutie. This is the one I want. She's the one I want. I will also take Bonbon. Bon. Like Neon Cutie and Bonbon bon are the two that I want. So Anybody else? Anybody else's bonus, except for Miss Heine, which is who this is. This bitch. I don't like her. I don't like her name. She has a horrible name. So. And she was the first one I opened. Because I bought two of these. I bought two of these. And the fact that I opened her first just was an insult to me. Get into your stupid dress. Oh. Well. I, uh, I may have aggressively pulled her head off. Get back on there. Chat, it's fake! <laughs> Twitch, it's fake. It's a fake. It's a doll. It's fake. It was not a real child that got their head pulled off just now. I did not behead a child. <laughs> uh, everything's going to shit, Koopo. Alright. I mean, I think I've salvaged everything. Like, no water damage. I mean, this this is this is a workbench anyway. I I would expect there to be, you know, some sort of damage. I mean, there's already damage, as you can see. There's paint. There's paint. There's adhesive residue. So, all right. Oh. 
So in the end, this is what we made. Here are our two birthday cake uh, OMG surprise dolls. I would not recommend biting into this. These are actually really fun. Woo! Woo! <laughs> uh, these are actually really fun to make despite the mess. And I am going to just keep picking them up until I get Neon Cutie or Bonbon bon or both. So, like, I'm probably just going to have a bunch of these, like, a bunch of these, like, little cake things. Uh... Like, kind of, like, just sitting around my office. I'll probably put them on display. So. There's not much else you could really do with them. I could put, uh... Hmm. No, there's not much you could really do with them, like, once they're dry. See, she has... She has designs on her dress, and I almost would want to redo her mold where it's not so yellow, because you can't really see it. But, alright, so there they are. <laughs> Dunking this one in the, in the sprinkles was satisfying, but probably not the best. And then adding sprinkles to this one's, like, mold. You can't really see the sprinkles outside of, like, the stuff on the outside here. So, this was trial and error. But, all in all, like, I think it's, I think it was fun. These were good. I give these OMGs a solid... Uh, let's see, what's a good rating? In terms of messiness, they are a little messy because you are working with, like, you are uh, working with, like, loose uh, glitter. Not so much glitter, but definitely, like, uh, confetti, I think would be the better uh, term here. You're working with loose confetti, you're working with loose compound powder, powder. you have to work with water. Uh, so in terms of, in terms of, like, craft messiness, I give this a solid, like, uh, 8 out of 10. For craft messiness. Uh, for fun, it is a 10 out of 10. If you enjoy just making this kind of stuff, highly recommend it. It's cute. These uh these little things run about uh run about ten dollars each, so like they're $9.99 plus you know uh tax at the store. So they run about ten dollars. Uh but for ten dollars, this is what you get. Uh you get a mold that you can basically clean out and make and keep using. Uh, if you figure out what the compound is, like, what kind of, like, uh, hardening sand this is, hardening crystal, you can keep making dresses, uh, for the dolls, since the dolls slip right out of these molds. Um, oops. You can just keep doing this. It's definitely, like, babies for, like, it, there's other kits you can get for, uh, for these kind of, like, for these kind of crafts. But definitely, if you if you know somebody who has like a kid, or if you yourself like OMG LL surprise dolls, or you just like the OMG brand, this definitely is like baby's first like uh, mold kit. You know, if you're someone who wants to get, you know, if you're someone who likes to play around like with the UV resin and things like that, no, you feel like you, you know, if you like the make it minis, you know, if you like the make it mini stuff and you like playing with the the adhesive and the resin in these, since they are the same brand, you know, they're these are both from MGA. Uh, and you want something different than just, you know, making fake food. These, these are super cute. OMG has done, uh, a lot with the, with the tots, with, like, these, um, making them into things. Like, I know there's, like, a, there's a Magic Sand one. I think there's a Crayola one as well. Like, they did a Crayola collab where you can, um, <sighs> I think, like, you take, like, I think they give you, like, little chunks of, like, crayon wax and you melt, like, you kind of melt it down and you turn, you make them into the LOL doll. Like, you make their outfit. Don't quote me on that. I'm not quite sure what the current, what the Crayola collab is. I have to look into it. But, like, if you like these, like, quick little, like, you know, all together, say, 30 minute crafts. Like, this took under 30 minutes, but 30 minutes at the max if you make both. 
Um, if you like these kind of things, I recommend them. Ten bucks each. Like I said, in terms of craft messy, uh, messiness, eight out of ten. In terms of fun, you know, a fun 15 minute little thing, ten out of ten. If you, um, you know, they're cute. And you can put pretty much any of the OMG dolls in this. That's why it's, it's so nice that it's so versatile. I have, hold on, what do I have? I haven't actually unboxed her, but I'll use her as an example. So like I have the, uh, I have the anniversary Hello Kitty OMG. I'm just gonna pop her open right now. I've not opened her. I'm not gonna open any of her stuff. So like, I think what's so great about these dolls, look at her, she's so cute. If she's the same size as the other ones, ma'am, your your hands? Hello? Anyway, so she's the same size as them. So you could theoretically, uh here, let me let me get her out. You could pop her right in. There we go, see? So like those, uh, so like the cake, uh, the cake skirts are extremely versatile, and like they fit all of the OMGs. So you can put any OMG in any of these, in any of these like little cake molds. So like the value goes up if you collect. Like the the value of keeping these goes up if you are someone who collects the OMG tots, like I do. So it's like I could I could change out these dresses, you know, all day every day if I wanted to, but. Also, if you're new to this part of the stream and you're wondering why I'm talking like this, anytime I pick up new toys, uh, in terms of, like, pick up new toys, like, fun little gimmicky things like this, and we make them on stream, I also like to sit and talk about them. I like to talk about, like, you know, what makes them worth the money, what doesn't make them worth the money. I'm, I am biased, so take my, my opinion with a grain of salt that I like OMG surprise dolls. Uh there isn't there isn't a collection that I've not like that I've not had a doll from. So I I also like like the I like the tweens and I like the uh the the older dolls. Uh my per my favorite OMG doll is Neon Licious. So like the neon the neon family. I I have all of them. I have like their pet. I have a like I have a plush doll. And any time Neon Cutie comes around, like in this collection, I'm one her. But because they rely, but because OMG does rely on the mystery aspect of things, you are, it is a sunk, uh, it is a sunk money. Like, you know, you're sinking money into this. So that is one of the drawbacks and one of the cons of OMG t uh, tots is if you really, really like the tots, but you only like a certain, you know, if you only like a certain design, because you don't really know what you're going to be getting unless, like, you definitely, like, do research and look to see if there's a way to tell what's in an uh, OMG capsule, you're going to be spending a lot of money. Like, I am I want these two dolls in particular. I want Neon Cutie and I want Bon Bon. I'm going to be spending a lot of money until either I get them or I these, these get discontinued. But these will be sticking around for a while. Um, usually these uh, these sets always, like, typically stay around, you know, for a few months before they go away and they put out something new. And I know the birthday cake ones are, like, newer. I don't know exactly when they launched, but they are a newer set. So. Uh, you will be seeing, you'll be seeing me open more of these. I probably might, I may or may not open more of them on stream and make them on stream. We'll see. But I also just like, you know, making stuff on stream for you guys. So. But like I said, I'm a part-time I'm a part-time doll and toy collector, and I like playing with the toys and showing you guys what makes them worth it. But you know, there's always pros and cons to it. So the con of this is there is a lot of money that goes into collecting the tots. But if you enjoy it and you enjoy making the stuff, hands down recommend. Oh, I always recommend everything I play with. Uh. I have a bunch of other, like, I have a bunch of Make It Minis, like, from the Miniverse stuff. 
Uh, I'm not opening them. I'm taking. I'm actually taking them with me this weekend when I go to see Sura for a few days. When I finalize everything for the move, I'm. I'm gonna pack them and then I'm just gonna leave them with him because I'm trying so hard not to buy more toys. Because <laughs> the more toys I buy, that's the just more stuff I have to pack right now. So. I'm debate what I'm gonna end up probably doing is probably taking like a little like uh, Ziploc baggie and like literally shoving all of the excess dolls that I have right now into that and putting them in my bag. Excuse me, into my bag, and then I'm just gonna leave them with him. Like I have these OM, I have these OMGs. I have up there with the camera. I have three of the magic uh, pixielings, and then I have Venus. Who I just opened from Monster High. I have to run a skit with these uh, with these dolls. I have to um, I have to make a TikTok with them, and then once I'm done, which I pretty much should probably do today, between today into Sunday, I need to make that TikTok for them. And then once that's done, they're getting thrown into a bag, and I'm just gonna leave them with Seraph. It's just gonna be easier for me to do that. But once I'm moved and I have everything all set up uh, in the new office, expect expect more doll content on the channel since I've had to kind of put things off to the side. But I want to do more stuff with my dolls with you guys. I do want to open more dolls. I do want to sit and talk about the dolls with you. I want to show off everything I've gotten in the last few months because I have picked up quite a few dolls and I've not been able to talk about them. So I, like, just be excited. <laughs> Be excited for, like, the, the, the non-gaming content that's coming. But, but yeah. And like I said, this was the, she is the Hello Kitty uh, 50th anniversary uh, OMG. They collabed with Hello Kitty. There was only two dolls. There was this one and then the other one. I think it comes with a little collector. Yeah, there's a boy and a girl. I have the girl. All right, here's the girl. And then here's the boy. Um, and then there, there's no guesswork in these because there's only two dolls that you can collect. Um, they're right on the tag of which one is which, so. It's nice. So if you happen to see these floating around at your, at your Target or at your Walmart, pick one up if you like them. Highly recommend it. But anyway.